is going to be your master of ceremonies uh, this afternoon. So first of all, I want to thank everybody for being here. Um, we have a great program planned for you. I am going to introduce our distinguished guests in the audience and in no particular order. Uh, we have Greg Bernard, our former councilman. Michael Grace, our former supervisor. <laughs> councilman Vishnu Patel. And I'm not going to be able to pick everybody out from the audience here, so if I can't point to you, please forgive me. Eric DeBartolo, former highway superintendent. <laughs> Diana Quast, town clerk. Tom Diana, Councilman. Our Town Attorney, the Honorable Rich Abate. Town Justice, the Honorable Gary Raniello. We have Lynn Briggs from the Landmarks Commission. Buchanan Village Trustee, Dwayne Jackson, in the garb of the Rhode Island Regiment. The uniform of the Rhode Island Regiment. From the Yorktown Historical Society, we have Ed Pell. Vice President Mary Rossetti. Past President Tom Travis. From the Pines Bridge Monument Committee, we have James Tripoli, Michael Kahn, and John Tegeter. We also have, we are very privileged today to have with us our sculptor, Jay Warren. And we have um, members of various veterans organizations in the audience as well. We have Military Order of the Purple Heart, Chapter 21, with us today. <laughs> members of the American Legion with us today. <laughs> members of the Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 49. And veterans, uh, veterans, members of the Veterans of Foreign War. Yeah. And I sincerely hope I didn't miss anybody. We were working, looking through the audience, trying to catch everybody uh, who was here today. Not everybody here Diana. today, all those. Okay, so at this time, we're going to start right off. I need Angel Garcia to come forward at least to be prepared here. But we're going to start off by actually unveiling the monument first. We thought it would be more appropriate for the monument to be unveiled right off the bat so that all of the ceremonial activities that take place afterwards will be taking place with the monument in full view for all to see. to absorb the impact. <laughs> and now I'd like to call up Yorktown Police Officer Angel Garcia, the United States Air Force veteran as well. And he's going to be singing for us today our national anthem. Ah! 
hill How the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Prove the perilous fight For the ramparts we won't We're so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glow The bombs bursting in air And our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner and wave or the land of the Thank you, Yorktown Police Officer Angel Garcia. Okay, well, I wear several hats today. As president of the Yorktown Historical Society, as a member of the Pines Bridge Monument Committee, and as a member of the Sons of the American Legion, as the proud son of a Korean War veteran. I have always promoted the Pines Bridge Monument as not only dedicated to the men of the Rhode Island Regiment who fought and sacrificed here some 240 years ago, but also as a tribute to our nation's very first soldiers and our very first veterans. It should also be noted that the regiment was an integrated one, exemplary of the diversity of our great country. These men set the standards for all United States soldiers to follow. Brave, honorable, steadfast in their beliefs, and indicative of those who have fought for liberty and justice throughout our nation's history. As you may know, there were differing opinions concerning, concerning the historical context of the placement of this monument here in Railroad Park. But advancing forward, it is my hope that this wonderful monument becomes a focal point, a starting point, a rallying cry to educate the town of the significance and importance of Yorktown Heights during our American Revolution. And then, with the help of the Yorktown Historical Society, to expand and nurture that interest and tell the whole story of our area, not just from the American Revolution, but from all significant historical periods in our history through our historical programs, site markings, and signage. I thank the full board of the Yorktown Historical Society and the many Yorktown Historical Society board members who made significant contributions of time and effort to raise the funds for this monument. At every Grange Fair, Street Fair, San Gennaro Festival, and other events throughout the past 10 years, these fine folks worked diligently to promote and create awareness of this special project. Others, too, have helped along the way. 
and I thank them all. I also want to thank every local or distant citizen who bought a brick or placed some change, a couple of dollar bills, or tens and twenties into our donation buckets at all of the above mentioned events. The Pine Bridge Monument Committee, the town, and specialized outside contractors worked diligently this past week under horrific weather conditions, including today, to complete the monument for today's unveiling. Note also that the commemorative bricks that were placed at the original site in Downing Park have not yet been relocated, but I assure you that they will be placed here in the spring along with appropriate landscaping and, by the way, there is still opportunity for you all to purchase a brick to honor a family member or a loved one. The town will also oversee the placement and relocation of the original Yorktown Park flagpole that is off to our right, still visible, within a large tree that has grown around it. That flagpole was initially flanked by two World War I cannons that served as monuments to our veterans for many years and are now displayed outside the American Legion Hall and the VFW Hall on Veterans Road. From that flagpole will fly the Stars and Stripes. The first official U.S. flag was flown during the Battle of Fort Schuyler on August 3rd, 1777, the first time it was carried in battle. Massachusetts reinforcements brought news of the adoption by Congress of the official flag. Soldiers cut up their shirts to make the white stripes. Scarlet material to form the red stripes was secured from red flannel petticoats of officers' wives while material for the Blue Union was taken from a blue cloth coat of Captain Abraham Schwartwout of Dutchess County, New York. First made by soldiers, it was a similar flag under which the Rhode Island Regiment fought. And that flag, with an ever-increasing number of stars, under which so many gallant men and women have fought and died over the last 240 years, are also remembered and honored in this monument to our first veterans. I would like to end with a quote paraphrased from my good friend Bill Nelson, himself a decorated veteran. In an email to me this week, he wrote, the main thing is that this memorial will stand in stirring and lasting memory of Yorktown's legacy and honor those brave, heroic American patriots who fought and fell and were captured in our town in defense of freedom from hostile enemy forces during the birth of this great nation. May God bless them all and those who love them. Thank you very much. At this time, I would like to bring to the podium Federico Camposano, longtime Yorktown resident and tenor, who's going to perform for us today, My Country Tis of Thee.
Thank you very much. Mr. Federico Camposano, yeah. everyone. So at this time, I've been asked to ask if there are any elected officials, local officials, officials who might like to say a few <laughs> words. And it's, all, I've, it's also been noted that Kevin Byrne has shown up as well, our, our state assemblyman. Good afternoon, everybody. It's great to see that this is finally in a good spot. I know that there was much controversy, but we worked hand in glove with everybody and we got the job done. And I'm so happy. And it's so great just to see all these cars along Commerce Street here and it's not a road test day. <laughs> but this is, this is, 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 is amazing. Um, the renderings and what this, what this sculptor has done for Yorktown and through the Historical Society, the Pines Bridge Monument, Soci Monument Society, and the elected officials that had the foresight to put the money into it to jumpstart this to get the job done. I would hate to have seen this thing just sitting out in California. But this is the place for it. Um, once again, I'm gonna keep it really brief. I think Kevin's got a couple words he'd like to say, but I wanna thank everybody that contributed in any way monetarily, physically, however you contribute to get this done, this is the best. Thank you folks so much. I'll be really brief. I just want to say thank you for everyone to, that, that's out here this afternoon uh, to celebrate this, this, mar this marvelous, marvelous statue. Uh, I remember uh, several years ago when I, I used to work for a former member of Congress, Nan Hayward, uh, Michael Codd came over and we sat about sat and talked about this monument when this was just an idea, probably somewhere around 2011, and here we are, several years later, a lot of sweat equity went into this, and I, I wanted to thank everyone that put the time and effort to, uh, to pay tribute to a lot of folks that did a lot of good for our country and our state, so thank you all. It took a long time, but when I'm the only person here, and the longer, the longer councilman here, and I have seen from the very beginning, right, John? How many pictures and how many times you have been there Thousands. to Thousands. be down here, okay? <laughs> so, Daddy! wonderful. Yeah. 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 See you. And I honor all those who gave us the freedom. Thank you. Hey. Hey. I uh, just want to say a couple of words. That, uh, when I uh, became supervisor about seven years ago, I, I uh, I'd like to throw all my weight behind this because I think this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Yorktown uh, deserves a sculpture of, of this magnitude and, and grace, and we need to get more, and hopefully it's the beginning of uh, a, a future uh, a revitalized downtown. But I want to thank uh, John Tiger especially. Johnny! John! Hey! Johnny! Hey! Uh, I think, uh, you know, York, Yorktown's got to understand what a valuable asset John Tegger has been to the town and, and continues to be to the town with his vision. Um, and uh, we're very blessed to have had him. Uh, and uh, John DeVito, uh, I give a big hand to John DeVito. He's the guy that's been out here. Um, but this is a, this is a uh, I, I want to thank uh, the board that uh, I worked with that actually uh, uh, had the wisdom and fortitude uh, in, in, in with some headwind uh, against them about uh, actually financing uh, uh, the, the remaining uh, monies to put this thing together and make it actually a dream come true. And Michael Kahn, uh, congratulations, buddy. Uh, it's your, with your vision too as well and your perseverance over a lot of years. God bless you, you, you made a big mark on Yorktown and uh, we thank you uh, sincerely. Two simple phrases. Freedom is not free. Yeah, that's right. It wasn't free at Bunker Hill. It's not free today. Men and women in this crowd went in harm's way to protect our freedom. 
these brave men were in harm's way to protect our freedom. I don't care where you're from, where you've been, if you're in Yorktown today and you believe in America, we are all one. Yeah. Yeah. I met Paul 10 years ago and I said, count me in, because this story needs to be told. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try and get to the producers of Hamilton and tell them that should be the, this should be the next story. <laughs> but thank you all for coming out here today. God bless America, and God bless you. Thank you, everyone. I'd like to call to the microphone now. Uh, Michael Kahn from the Pine Bridge Monument Committee. Thank you everybody for coming. Um, to paraphrase what Paul once said, uh, the Beatle, not the Apostle. It's been a long and winding road, almost 10 years, and just, I know it's been that long because the Chicago Cubs actually won a World Series in between, <laughs> not the Mets. There's so many to thank here, and I'll try to get to everybody, but I can't promise anything. First, none of this would have been possible if not for a happy accident, and that's a random decision to read a little book titled 1776 by David McCullough. And I'm not here to do a book review or promotion, but if you can read only one book on the American Revolution, please let this be the one. In fact, if you do an online search for books about the Revolution, this will be the uh, number one book that probably comes up. I'd also like to acknowledge The Nasty Affairs at Pines Bridge, written by the late Allison Alvey and edited by our own Monica Doherty. This is the only book with a focus on our local battle and the people involved in it, and it is available only for purchase through the Yorktown Historical Society. Um, special thanks to my mentor, Mitch Wood, who's here today. Um, thanks to the special, uh, to the members of the Pines Bridge Romney Committee who made this happen. This was never a one-person show. Um, James Capoli, a club fit representing the Yorktown Chamber of Commerce. John Tegeter, Yorktown Planning Department. <laughs> Former town supervisor Linda Cooper, past Yorktown Historical Society President Monica Doherty, current president Paul Martin III. Got the third name. <laughs> Also to Lorraine DeSisto from planning, we lost the, we lost Lorraine to cancer four years ago. Um, I wish she could have been here to see it. To the same committee, it should be noted they all stood by this project, especially when all seemed hopeless and we were we had no forward progress in sight. I and the public can't thank you enough to your commitment and hard work. To them, to the people who keep thanking me, please thank them. We are all part of the same team. Um, thanks to Professor Norm Damaris, Professor Emeritus of Providence College, also a living history member of the 2nd Rhode Island Regiment. Uh, Norm had the honor of composing our narrative. Um, thank you to numerous other historians and contributors who assisted, there were many. Um, should just to let you know, a lot of thought went into the pedestal design. Eight total sides to represent eight total years of the war. Four smaller sides contain the names of our found, four founding documents. The rest of the interpretive exter, uh, explanatory information is to give the work its context. What is not contained then, therein, we leave to the uh, public historians to interpret as they will. Thank you to the town of Yorktown for making this and for backing this endeavor and finally taking it over to get it done. Thank you to former town supervisor Michael Grace and current supervisor Alan Gilbert, present and past camp, uh, present and past council members, Tom Stiana, Ed Lackerman, Gregory Bernard, Alice Roker, and Vishnu Patel. Thank you to former State Senator Greg Ball and current State Senator Terrence Murphy. Former Senator Ball secured us a $50,000 capital grant and Senator Murphy along with former town supervisor Michael Grace and town planner John Tegeter and Robin Steinberg, also a planning department, got us the $50,000. We asked you to show us the money and you delivered. Thank you, our brick sponsors. Those, those who made donations large and small. A special thanks to the Ajeros family, the owners of the Mohegan Diner. 
They made a $5,000 donation without even blinking, without the certainty of a completed project and without asking anything in return. And then still offered to donate more. Please give them a round of applause. Thank you to the organizers of the San Gennaro Festival of 2016, namely Tony Grasso and Tommy Pompasso. I know Tony's in the audience, so please give it up for Tony. <laughs> Gary made a generous donation, $4,100. Thanks to the Yorktown Chamber of Commerce for their support and donations of $3,000 and sponsorship of multiple large bricks. Thank you to Monica Doherty for her donation of $1,000, and also thank you to Bill Nelson, who also made his donation of $1,000. Thank you to Dave Pagnelli for when he donated his time and services as owner of Traveler's Rest, and then again as the highway superintendent, and the, uh, as well as the highway department for all the hard work they did to get this done. Thank you to Rich and Lori Leahy for hosting a fundraiser at their home. I also want to thank Ken Stevens from the Putnam Westchester chapter of the Sons of the American Le Revolution for his family for their donation of 500 personal dollars and matching $500 grant. Last but not least, thanks to Michael Grace, Eric DiBartolo, and a special thanks to John DeVito for the donation of the pedestal. I was told that the materials and labor was worth $15,000. Please give it up for them. I want to give a shout out to my family. And first and foremost, I want to apologize to my son, my firstborn, Matthew. Um, you were two when this began, you're going on 12 now. Um, where's daddy were your almost favorite two words, especially around dinner time when we met. Uh, you even kindly reminded me today that when I had to bring you to our committee meetings, how I used to plug you into a DVD player with Blue's Clues. <laughs> and now I can't keep up on what you watch with Pokemon. You and your generation will now know some of the local history because of a monument, just as I learned about local history from my father around the monument to Civil Ludington in Carmel. The same to my younger son Christopher, who was named after Colonel Green, Colonel Christopher Green, the commander of the regiment. Thank you for my wife Elizabeth for not divorcing me through this whole process. Um, you always supported me and I love you all. Obviously you love me too, you kept me. <laughs> Most importantly to my family in blue, my Yorktown Police Benevolent Association and the Yorktown Police Department. Yeah. Yeah. My special thanks to PBA presidents, past president Brian Shanahan, current president Larry Paniccia, my chief Robert Noble, my lieutenant John DiLulio, especially my sergeant Scat uh, Craig Scatola since he's here. And I got to thank Sergeant Mike Zajcek, who uh, got a C on this paper in college about this battle. Not my fault, but yes, you didn't tell me about the battle, and yes, I thank you very much. Remember that when you make my schedule and give me my vacation. <laughs> Lest we forget, to the memory of those gallant Continental soldiers of the Rhode Island Regiment who made the ultimate sacrifice here in Yorktown, New York, not Yorktown, Virginia. Men of diverse backgrounds, but of many. One, first, our first veterans. The war for independence cost the lives of between 25 and 30,000 of our first soldiers. It's the job of all of us to honor these lives lost. Honoring the troops means honoring the job of all, it, honoring the troops means honoring them all, past, present, and future. If we fail to remember those who came before us, what message does it send to those of today and tomorrow, lest we forget? I want to thank our artist, Jay Warren, for his beautiful piece of art. Jay, uh, we had a lot of conversations over the phone, especially at 1 o'clock in the morning, to get this as accurate as we could. It's artwork on the museum piece, but we wanted to get it as, as accurate as possible. You stuck through this up, through a total uphill battle, no pun intended. And I now turn the microphone over to you, sir. so nice to be here. I finally had this piece done, and thank you all so much for coming out on the whole day for this. Um, I'm going to be really quick. Thanks so much to Michael for keeping me straight on all the historic details. He consulted with so many people and made sure I get everything exactly right. Uh, and 
thanks to the John Tegeter for sticking with it yesterday into the night. soldier, the man who was brought here against his will and volunteered to fight for this country and for an all-personal Thank you. I'd like to bring to the microphone once again Federico Camposano. <clears throat> And he's going to sing for us this afternoon, America the Beautiful. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesty above the flooded plains, America, America, God shed His grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood. From sea to shining sea, oh beautiful for heroes prove in liberating strife, who more than self their country love and mercy more than life, America. America, God shed his grace on thee, and crown thy good with brotherhood, from sea to shining sea. So, in closing, I do have a couple of announcements that I'll make, but I'll make them uh, in just one minute. I'd like to read to you, in closing, a poem that was written by Charles Michael Province of the United States Army. And he wrote this poem in 1970. If you were with us at the Veterans Day Parade last Sunday, you would have heard me read it there, but I think it's very, very appropriate for this occasion and as our final thoughts. Because we are dedicating the statue here today to three soldiers, to all of the soldiers, depicting three soldiers, representing the soldiers of the American Revolution who fought and died for our freedoms. And dedicated to all of the veterans and the soldiers who have fought since then to maintain those freedoms to protect our citizens, and um, I think this poem, it's called, It Is the Soldier, is most fitting. It is the soldier, not the minister, who has given us freedom of religion. It is the soldier, not the reporter, who has given us freedom of press. It is the soldier, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the soldier, not the campus organizer, who has given us freedom to protest. 
It is the soldier, not the lawyer, who has given us the right to a fair trial. It is the soldier, not the politician, who has given us the right to vote. It is the soldier who salutes the flag, who serves beneath the flag, and whose coffin is draped by the flag, who allows the protester to burn the flag. It is the soldier by Charles Michael Province, U.S. Army. Uh, now I'm going to give a bunch of announcements. The Yorktown Historical Society, who published these two books, one of which was addressed by Michael, The Nasty Affair at Pines Bridge and Yorktown at War, which was written by a Yorktown high school graduate, John T. Martino, we publish these books and they are available for sale. They will help us uh, to continue to perpetuate the uh, monument and all the work that the Yorktown Historical Society does. So if you're just learning a little bit today about the Battle of Pine Bridge, this book right here is the best book to tell you that story, to continue that story. And Yorktown at War covers all of the Revolutionary War history in our town. So we encourage you to look for us in the audience here. We'll be able to sell you uh, these books. We also have some of the postcards, as we discussed about the, um, the bricks that were placed at the original location down in Downing Park. They are gonna be moved back over to this location in the spring. And if you would like to purchase a brick, we have all that information for you here to honor a family member perhaps who served uh, or one of your loved ones, whatever the case might be. Um, and we are gonna have on honor about the anniversary of the actual battle, which was May 14th. We are on a Saturday before or after, we haven't yet decided that, but we are going to have another big event here, a bigger event uh, with some reenactors and some food and a whole great celebration and commemoration going on on that particular day. And I will guarantee it's gonna be warmer than it is today. <laughs> so look for that. Look for the announcements for that, our Facebook page, or kind of historical society Facebook page, etc. We'll have all of that information. We're also going to have a program, slide program, PowerPoint program on the nasty affair of Pines Bridge and the Battle of Pines Bridge on May 14, 1781, that took place here in Yorktown. It was actually scheduled for Thursday night, and we had to postpone it because of the weather. So it's been rescheduled for Thursday, January 17th, 2019 at 7.30 p.m. at the Yorktown Community Center. I have some uh, flyers up here if you'd like to take one with you to remember and mark it on your calendar. That's January 17th, 2019. Um, I'd also like to suggest to you that the Sons of the American Legion, Squad 1009, is having a pancake breakfast fundraiser tomorrow, Sunday, November 18th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m at the American Legion Post right here in town. Um, and all of the proceeds from that breakfast will be donated to local veterans groups, the Hudson Valley Honor Flight, United for the Troops, My Brother Vinny, the Montrose VA Food Pantry, and the Military Order of the Purple Heart Chapter 21. So we encourage you to come out tomorrow morning to the American Legion Hall for only $8, all you can eat pancakes. It's a great, great little breakfast there, wonderful people. A wonderful chance to socialize and meet your fellow town folk and also go to a very, very good cause. And in honor of today's celebration, the Yorktown Pub and its owner, Mark Anthony, is having a free appetizer, appetizer buffet following our ceremony. And the Yorktown Pub is over on... Uh, across from Starbucks. Across from Starbucks. On Commerce Street. On Commerce Street. And your first Yingling beer is free. <laughs> and Yingling beer, as you know, is the oldest brewery in the United States. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the men of the first Rhode Island were drinking that beer on their break. 
Is that true, Dwayne? <laughs> I make sure I haven't missed anything here. Well, I thank you all again. I thank everybody who donated any time, any money to our monument. We thank you all very, very, very much. We thank you for standing here with us today on this frigid cold day to honor these brave men and the dedication of this wonderful statue. So I thank you all again. This will preclude, preclude, proclude, conclude. This will conclude our ceremony this afternoon. I urge you, I know it's a little muddy around here, but I do urge you to take some time to walk around the monument, to see it from every side, to read the inscriptions um, on the granite, on the base of the monument as well. We encourage you to join us, um, to join us over at the pub at the conclusion here. And once again, I thank you all. God bless you all. God bless all of our veterans and God bless America. Thank you all very, very, very much.